So before you prick the finger, or in the preferred case, the earlobe, you need to clean the skin. Alcohol swaps will do. You can either use one-time alcohol swaps. I prefer having you know, a big bottle of, of alcohol or some cleaning solution, and you just need some normal paper towels and clean the earlobe really nicely and make it really clean. Um, it's not like you can do too much of that, okay? Next important thing is opening these manual lancets. So these lancets are sterile, which means that there's no germs, no bacteria on it, and it's important to keep them sterile as long as possible. You want to hold them against the light so you can see that where the sharp end is, and then open them so that the sharp end stays inside the paper for as long as possible and therefore stays sterile. Okay, now we are going to show you how to prick the yellow. Take out the lancet. Don't touch it, obviously, right? When we want to prick the ear, we want to find a point which is the lowest point of the earlobe. Don't prick on the front end, don't prick on the back end of the ear, right? The lowest point and just really down here. And there's one technique that's very important to learn, not only for pricking the ear, but also for taking the lactate afterwards. This is forming a triangle with your pointer finger and your thumb on the one hand, this goes on the upper part of the earlobe, and then the middle finger of the other hand. You can see I hold the lancet, I still keep it sterile, I don't touch it. And with that triangle, I can grab the part of the earlobe which I want to prick. The biggest issue that this pricking is, people are too careful. Taking lactate samples is not painful for the athlete or the client. What is painful is making squeezing, which is the result of a not a good enough opening. And the way how you get a good enough opening is forming this triangle, squeezing a little bit, so apply a little bit of pressure, and then go all in with the lancet. There's no rush, take it easy, and release. 